Hi, I know you guys are itching to get access to the cameras and start using them. Bust out your developer kits or to start working in groups. So I just have a few slides here to kind of get point you in the right direction. So the main thing is that there's this quick start guide here. And this guide has 14 code examples. So the suggestion is that you get one of the code examples and compile it and start running with it. There's links to other documentation as well too. If you don't know where, where to start, you can start with my first plugin, which shows you how to do controlled stitching and produce dual fisheye images instead of equirectangular. Here's one example from a long video. So when I first started to use the Theta camera, it had a 25 minute limit, but I couldn't figure out in the API why it was limited to 25 minutes. So using the API, I um, just set the max duration to a longer period of time. And I was able to fill up the camera with 4K video up to 48 minutes. So really just with one or two lines of code, you, you can unlock features of the camera that nobody else has. So everybody else in the world, they have a Theta and it can only record for 25 minutes at a shot. But if you modify one line of code or a couple, you could, mod you could extend it out to 48 minutes. So I got kind of interested since uh, it's a new feature. So, so I decided, well, the 48, li 48 minutes is limited by the size of the storage internal to the Theta, which is 19 gigabytes. So, well, if I preserve the resolution and the frame rate, and I change the video encoder from H.264 to HEVC, basically improving the compression a bit, then I can reduce the bit rate encoding. Uh, so make the, basically making the size of the, of the video file smaller. And I also stripped out the spatial audio since I wasn't using it for my application and I reduced it down to one channel. And then I was able to get it up to one hour and 24 minutes. The camera just seemed to get a little hotter. Um, didn't ex test it extensively. If you wanna take this method, uh, go ahead. This is a nice progression if you wanna play around with these settings because not only can you change the time duration of it to, to save, but you can also change the video compression as well as the, the bitrate encoding and play around with the audio. So since I was in um, getting some level of progress, I decided to see what else was possible. Um, so I th I'm thinking a concept for surveillance video where you just place the camera out, press one button, no mobile app or anything, and uh, the camera will record a, I was actually trying to get to 12 hour, and I think I, I can, but uh, you know, some level of time for maybe one business day. And I was thinking that the scenario would be to capture animals or um, pedestrian traffic or something for 12 hours. And I got to 10 hours and 55 minutes with just a few minutes of fiddling with the settings. So what I did is I actually reduced it down to 2K. So I changed the resolution from 4K to 2K. Then I changed the frames per second from 30 frames per second to 15 because this is a surveillance um, it won't, didn't really impact my application and i changed the bitrate encoding all the way down to eight megabytes per second um, i don't have the audio working yet but uh, it was a good way to make changes and extend it out to 10 hours and 55 minutes remember the Original limitation was 25 minutes. That was also for a 2K video. So I think there's a way you can get it out pretty long and save it to internal video, uh, internal storage if you want to. That's it. Jesse's gonna give you additional information here.